Hello, this is Hashtag 3. Today we will be showing you how to install Mac OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion, 10.9 Mavericks, 10.10 Yosemite, and 10.11 El Capitan on unsupported Macs. I am going to be using a mid-2007 MacBook with 2GB of RAM and a 2.16GHz Core 2 Duo processor. Top case malfunction, so I took it off. So, uh, this works without a supported Mac, but I will be using my supported Mac over here, Mac Pro, with El Capi 10, just to speed things up and make it not so slow. So, let's get started. What you want to do is download the Mac Post Factor app. Link will be in the description. Um, and you go to it, so first you want to open it, obviously, and then you get this. So you continue, well, if you want to read it, you can. Uh, it's a long list of terms and conditions, as you can see. Oh, look, it even says blah, blah, blah. See? Then you press continue, and if you're installing it on the actual computer, for example, if this computer here was this, I would press on this Mac. And I currently have a four terabyte disk, but I'm not installing it on that. So you want to press on an external drive. At this point, you will need an external USB drive if you're installing it with a different machine. However, if you're using the same one, then you should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my USB drive. And wait for it to be recognized. And so what you want to do, you want to go into disk utility first. There we go. So disk utility and just make sure that it's formatted as um, Mac OS X extender. Mine already is, so that's fine. Make sure you do back up whatever's on your USB as it's going to be deleted and there's really no recovering it. So 10.11, that's just the previous name. So then you want to click on customize. Or first you got to choose your version. So you'll actually need the um, Mac OS installer in your applications folder so you gotta go ahead and get those there's online sites you can get them from so for this video I'm gonna be showing Mountain Lion because if you're doing 10.9 Mavericks Yosemite or El Capi 10 unfortunately there is no graphics acceleration and it will be slow after that you want to click on customize and so there's EFI 32 or 64 so most people will want to choose 32 however if you've got a macbook 3 one or macbook 4 one which is slightly newer than mine you'll want to choose 64. Click, make sure you click this and this i've got a gma thing but it's unstable so i'm not going to use it so you can have a smaller cover if you want if you do, if you got limited hard disk space, that's what you want to do, but uh, if you're like me and you don't really care, it doesn't matter, so I'm just not going to tick that box. So then, at this point, you want to click OK, choose your disk, and hit install. So I'm just going to use a new name, I'm going to call it Mountain Lion. And then you click on erase. Once again, this will erase your USB disk. And I'm gonna, so this might take quite a long time. Oh, well, first you gotta uh, skip an ad that pops up. Uh, I'm gonna speed this part up because this might take a, uh, quite a long time. As you can see, this is how long 
You can skip before and then you press skip ad. I guess this is probably just how they make money. They gotta make money somehow. So okay, I'm just gonna enter my password. Okay. It'll start in a bit. It even says not to watch this, so we'll do something, come back later, and watch. So I'm gonna skip over this part. So the installation of my drive is completed successfully and now if you're on a desktop you're gonna wanna can make sure you got a keyboard. You don't need to have a keyboard, but I found that it makes you have a keyboard for whatever reason. So go ahead and plug in your keyboard. Lucky for me, my keyboard has a little USB port in the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Hold on. So what you want to do, uh, mine doesn't have a power button anymore, but uh, I got it so you just plug it in and it turns on. You want to hold down the option key on your keyboard. Once you get a cursor, you can let go. And wait for it to reveal your boot options. So I'm going to select Mountain Lion because that's the name of the drive. You can also use the arrow keys to navigate. So it's booting up. If you've got a slow drive like me, expect it to take uh, a while. the spinning beach ball then you'll be greeted by this weird kind of darkish thing so I don't want to upgrade my previous snow leopard disc because well that one it's not gonna run too fast I found that this machine runs the best on snow leopard so you can if you want to do a clean install you open up disk utility by Hold on. So you'll have this to open disk utility. You just gotta wait. There's usually press utilities up here, disk utility. And so if you want to do a clean install, mountain line, you just press that and you go to over to erase. Yours might be called something else like Macintosh HD, but whatever your disk Mac OS is installed on, that's the one you want to erase. However, I don't want to erase it, I'm going to partition my disk. So if you press two partitions, that will actually delete your whole thing. So what you want to do if you want to partition, you go you just click this little plus. So Snow Leopard, I'll give it 125 gigs. This one I'll give 123, I guess. So I'm going to call it Mountain Lion. So, expect this to take quite a long time. So you can see, nothing's going to be deleted. Wait for it to focus. Uh, resize and added. None will be erased. So I'm just going to partition. So there's all these, this is kind of the progress bar down here. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna try to get um great. So now that it's completed, we can go and quit disk utility. Let's I guess you can just press the X. So oh, we've probably got two disks named Mountain Line. Internal, so this is the one, Mountain Line 1. It's because there's two mountain lines. This disk is fine, so that's that's what you want to hear. So I'm gonna press install and hold on a minute. So there 
here's the, the progress bar. So I am back. You got the regular familiar OS X welcome screen. I've got a different keyboard now, but setup is quite the same. Continue English. Uh, I'm not gonna connect to a network right now, just because I don't need to. Okay. So then once again, there's terms and conditions that you gotta agree to. So. I'll say hash day three demo password no password no hint so then oh you gotta put a password that's new okay I'll just put like a, a space create my account You can see that that thing's making some noise. So sometimes I'm just gonna input my region. Don't wanna show you my region. Just for hold on. It's hard to actually hit it spot on. Okay. So after your region, you can start using your Mac. For some reason, I think I'm on desktop. But I also got two cursors, which doesn't make sense. It is a bit um, on slower systems like mine. It is kind of buggy. But uh, on on a fast, if you had a faster system, it's not buggy. And if you have the original Mac Pro, then uh, you can swap out the graphics card and have a regular thing. So uh, one of the first things you see is this Mac Post Factor has um, a special thing. So it says that your computer does not support glass effects. So I'm just going to disable that. Then it will kill the dock, relaunch it, and then you're back. So I will. Oh, I would not hit launch pad. That was a big mistake. You see, for whatever reason, launch pad is super buggy and does not work. It's just, I don't know how bad it will be on a faster system, but I can tell you on this one. You don't wanna you don't wanna mess with a launch pad. Wow. You can hear the hard drive making quite a bit of noise. I'm actually surprised that the fan has not gone on yet. Oh, you can see it's Mountain Lion, be not Lion, because um, it's got iMessages. That is introduced in Mountain Lion, so that shows Mountain Lion. I can also go to the About This Mac uh, once I, I get back in. At this point, I'm just starting to think of rebooting might be faster. Reboot of the X. I have rebooted, and so I'm going to do what I was about to do. So, as you can see, uh, I'm going to go to App Applications. Pre-installed automatically is an app little utility called Mac Post Factor Utilities. So, if we look inside, it just bothers me like this. I'm just going to turn on magnification, just get that nice effect. So, mods. 
there's this glass thing airdrop manager so it says you can enable airdrop in my experience at least on this Mac it does not work uh, and in newer versions in El Capi 10 specifically this will get you the old disk utility back which in my opinion is better and here trim enabler if that's a thing for SSDs to make them last longer uh, so yeah that's how you install Mac um, on OS X versions on unsupported Macs. Just to show you my right, full specs here. MacBook. Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't actually say the year. It should. It usually says it here, but it doesn't. Probably because it's been patched. Also, it does. Rec it does. One minor glitch is that it, it does not recognize the display as internal. It recognizes it as external. So here's actually what happens when the screen goes off. Well, you can't change brightness, and when it goes off, it just shows white, which is kind of annoying. And so that's really it. On my machine, you get this weird lagging. There is graphics acceleration. It's just not great. Uh, I can actually show you what it's like to watch a YouTube video. Let me center my... Oh, wait. Let me center my Wi-Fi password. So, I'm on the Wi-Fi. Let's head over to... YouTube. Oops. Perfect. It's oh, you sometimes get this on older versions of Safari. Basically, you it won't let you visit web pages because of the security issues with the profiles. It's just older technology. You'll get this warning. Sometimes it works. Oh, okay. They don't want me to use this browser, unfortunately. So I can't show you that, but. You can see this is pretty smooth. Um, this, it's not smooth, but it, it's usable. Launchpad, just don't go into Launchpad. And that's the bouncing effect, it's perfectly fine. So, uh, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thanks for watching.